A new state law is in effect that means nursing schools have started uh, work to enroll more students. Yeah, CBS 4's Kristen Escal reports now the law aims to address the state's nursing shortage. More than two years into the pandemic, Indiana still faces a serious shortage of nurses. Community Health Network says it has roughly twice the number of job openings for nurses compared to before the pandemic. When you have a shortage and then you tie that into now you actually need more than you did before, it's quite a complex kind of arrangement. A new law seeks to help hospitals hire more of those health care workers. It allows nursing schools to enroll more students and hire more part-time faculty members. For the 2021 2022 academic year, we turned away 300 students who were qualified. Mary Jane Michaelak says Ivy Tech Community College is now working to grow its class sizes by about 40% over the next three years. She says being able to hire more part-time instructors will help make that happen. We have started marketing to current nurses that they can come work for Ivy Tech on a part-time basis so that we can begin increasing that faculty. Nursing schools can also increase the number of simulation hours students perform, which can help in situations when schools have a hard time getting their students some clinical hours. Especially for OB and mental health nursing and pediatric nursing, those are the most difficult clinical sites to get. Healthcare workers say they consider the law a first step in efforts to bring more Hoosiers into the profession. We really need to focus on funding for our nursing schools and other health care programs because, um, like I said, we have people who want to be nurses and want to work in health care but either um, aren't accepted or, you know, there's not room for them. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. The new law also allows foreign educated nurses to get Indiana licenses more easily. If lawmakers choose to make any changes to funding for nursing schools, that would happen early next year as they work on the new state budget.